In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hello, this is Archimandrite, Father Mikael. I serve as an exorcist priest in the Eastern Orthodox Church. Our church takes its autonomy from the one true Greek Orthodox Church on the old calendar from Alexandria. I have some cedar wood oil here and some myrrh. This is pure myrrh. And I'm going to be saying just a simple Orthodox prayer uh, out of our Orthodox prayer book for uh, these two oils, for a blessing oil. And I like to just pray near the skeet out here in the open. I really like it out here. Um, this is where I do a lot of my hiking and uh, a lot of camping and things like that. So I have also a couple of uh, really nice, I, I got some coconut that's a young coconut that I'm gonna be opening up as well. That's why I got the spoon here. And um, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, cutting open the top of that coconut because I'm gonna talk a little bit about uh, health food uh, nutrition in regards to uh, coconuts. So you can see the kind of coconut, it's a young coconut here. Um, and I'll show you how I uh, go about taking that off. So I'm gonna set the oils right here um, on this rock. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee, O heavenly King. O comforter, the Spirit of truth, who art in all places and fillest all things, treasure of good things and giver of life. Come and dwell in us and cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Dox a patri, que a iu, que a dio pnebmati. Que nin, que a i, que istusionos, tonion, on amin. Our Father who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of all of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us, O Lord, not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, both now and forever and unto ages of ages. Amen. I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy and thy fear, O worship, toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before me that with a clear mind I may glorify thee forever. For that with a clear mind I may glorify thee forever. One divine power, worship in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto ages of ages. Amen. We reverence thy spotless icon, O gracious Lord, and ask forgiveness of all our transgressions, O Christ our God. For of thine own good will thou was pleased to ascend the cross in the flesh, that thou mightest deliver from bondage to the enemy those whom thou hast fashioned. Wherefore we cry aloud unto thee, thou hast put all things which are our saved, for thou didst come to save the world. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon me, a sinner. For as much as thou to wellspring of tenderness, O Theotokos, make us worthy of compassion, look upon a sinful people, Manifest thy power as ever, for hoping on thee we cry aloud unto thee. Hail as once did Gabriel, chief captain of the body, his powers. Kiri Kiri 
O Lord, our God, good and merciful, I acknowledge all of my sins which I have committed every day of my life in thought and word and deed, in body and soul alike. I am heartily sorry that I have ever offended thee in eyes and to the repent when tears of thee pray thee, O Lord. Of thy mercy, forgive my past transgression, absolve me from them all. I firmly resolve with the help of thy grace to amend my way of life and sin no more, that I may walk in the way of the righteous and offer praise and glory to thy name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, our help and refuge, fountain of wisdom and tower of strength, who knows that I can do nothing without thy guidance and help, assist me, I pray thee, and direct me to divine wisdom and power, that I may accomplish this task, whatever it might take to do, faithfully and diligently according to thy will, so that it may be proper myself and others to the glory of thy holy name. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. O Creator and Author of mankind, give us spiritual graces and bestow of eternal salvation. Do Thou the same, Lord, send down Thy Holy Spirit with a blessing from on high upon these oils, this cedar oil, and upon this myrrh, that fortified by the might of Your heavenly protection may be potent unto bodily salvation and secure and aid unto all who shall desire to make use of them through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May Christ, or through God, through the intercessions of His Holy Immaculate Mother and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as He is good and He loveth mankind. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord, O Master, Lord our God, who has commanded that we bring unto Thee an offering of each of Thine own things, and who requitest, requitest the same with the gift of Thine eternal good things, who didst graciously accept the offering of the widow according to her ability, accept now these things which we are offered unto thee by thy servant, our commanderite, Father Michael, and all thy holy Orthodox Church, and vouchsafe to place the same among thine eternal treasures, granting unto him an abundant of harvest of thy worldly benefits, together with thy th good things profitable unto him, for blessed is thy name, and glorified is thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. So we just finished blessing now the cedar oil and the wood. I'm gonna lay these down right here on the ground. And uh, I'm gonna need the uh, coconuts. Put the spoon in the bag. So there's a lot of information uh, online about eating uh, these kinds of coconuts. This kind of coconut is very soft on the inside. And when you take this top off, which I'm gonna show you, uh, you can basically take this top part of the coconut off and then you have the juice to drink, which is really good uh, juice in these younger coconuts. And the meat that's on the inside of the coconut is really soft that you actually can scrape with a spoon and eat it. And I'll show, I'll be showing you that. So, I need the knife. We're gonna go ahead and uh, take this first part off. So what I'll be doing is cutting around the coconut like this, and then I'll be hacking it off until I can get in there and remove it. You definitely want to be very careful.
So as you can see here, I have taken off the top and now the meat in here is very soft, okay? It's very soft and you absolutely see how full, uh, you can see how full this uh, coconut actually is. And these are edible. And you can see the hole with the juice, which you can drink like this. Give me the other coconut, please. Or just try to You can go ahead and start eating that one. You have your spoon with you. Take this. So we're gonna go ahead and do the next one. It's not really hard at all. I love being out in the outdoors. So I work with a lot of tools out here. Um, uh, whatever I need to do, hunt to survive, uh, or any kind of um, eating uh, off the land or things that I can uh, be able to get once in a while, which is these coconuts, which is sort of a rare specialty. I really enjoy the coconuts. But I'm a lot like a bushcraft person living out in the woods here in the in the skeeting and um, I, I like to plant different things uh, tomatoes and uh, just dip various types of herbs such as uh, mint I really like mint tea a lot um, very healthy for you You have a uh, something to wipe this with. Okay. This will have to be cleaned with water. Okay. So now my spoon is there. My spoon is there. I really don't like using metal spoons. I like wood spoons, but uh, we kind of were in a pinch and had to get a spoon. So I wanted to make this video so I could show you. You can kind of see there. Don't want to spill the juice. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The absolute freshness so delicious you can pick these up at uh, different uh, health food stores like Trader Joe's or Whole Foods um, uh, there's other health food stores uh, you could check for this spe specific type of a coconut not all coconuts is gonna have the meat on the inside that is really soft soft like this other coconuts the meat is very hard and you really can't uh, get it out of the coconut but I'm gonna show you right now, as soon as I take the juice out, what I'm talking about, scraping it up on the inside here. And this is really healthy for you. I have to keep an eye out for bears because we are in bear country out here and uh, bears have walked around out here. So have to always be cautious things that you're listening to, uh, any kind of various types of snakes. Uh, you have to constantly be like looking out and watching. <clears throat> 
so I think I got a majority of the juice out now. Let's see if I can start scraping some of this out. Okay. So I just scrape basically here, as you can see on the inside with the spoon easily comes out. Okay. And you can see what I mean about how loose this is. So I'm just gonna take my time first and basically go around here, taking as much as I can out. doesn't take long at all I enjoy living off the land I've been doing it for many many years um, so if I need a fish I fish if I need to hunt I hunt and uh, I do whatever it is I need to do uh, to keep myself going out here in the forest other than church services and things like that this is not a life for everyone. And uh, what I like out here is being alone with God and being able to do the prayers. You can see now how I've scraped the inside there. And these can be saved for water or whatever you like to use them for. You can eat, put food in them, clear this out, make the hole bigger, and actually make a small bowl or a cup. So may God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and His one true, holy, orthodox, and apostolic church. Amen.